With signs in hand, a group of foreign citizens came together. This comes after six council members resigned on Tuesday, saying they couldn't get corruption allegations investigated. When the cards started to fall, they fell, and this is where we are right now. But I want to make it very, very clear that we support the police. We support the employees of the city of Florence. We need a, a in-depth investigation and find the bad apples and get rid of them so this city can function. It wasn't until 13 investigates got involved that many Florence taxpayers finally started feeling heard about what they had seen going on for years. We are out here protesting and demanding answers, transparency, a forensic audit. Exposing the problems in this city, even though they're painful, they're necessary. Our team uncovered a pattern of abuse by women who were supervised by now fired and arrested city manager Mike Patterson. You're shining a light where a lot of people haven't wanted to shine it. and the. The purpose is to find the truth. We uncovered that former city executives took out tens of thousands of dollars of unauthorized interest-free loans on the taxpayer dime. $2,000 of that is still missing. When you get told as a taxpayer that it's only $2,000 that's missing, what do you think <laughs> about that? It's not just $2,000. I'm sure there's more that we haven't looked at yet, um, but that's a lot of money. At the same time of the protest, across the street at City Hall, police officers were being honored. Just a, a thank you. We appreciate you guys. The Royal Gorge Mustangs hosted a Back the Blue barbecue and free massages for first responders. People are torn between loyalty and still wanting to know. But the majority of those who live in Florence tell us the pursuit of the truth is worth the discomfort. I am so incredibly thankful for you and KRDO staying and pursuing this and and rooting out what you have found because even if you know if the city council can't address these things what hope do the rest of us have reporting in Florence Chelsea Brenzel 13 investigates